So today's episode, we're going to be smoothing out the firewall of the HX1 tunner and coating with the epoxy primer. So welcome to Shanky Garage, we'll jump straight into the video. So this episode, we're going to be smoothing out this firewall and basically coating it in epoxy primer. So there's a few holes that aren't needed, so I think this hole here, I can fill that in, this hole, these couple of holes and them two there. So gonna need this one for the steering column that one's for the booster that one's for the wiring harness and then that'll be for your uh, throttle cable and then your wiper motor so i think that's basically all i'm gonna need i'm not gonna run heaters or aircon or anything like that so i'm gonna yeah basically cut that whole section out and get that nice and flat so I know that there's probably going to be a lot of guys that are going to hate on it. I know a lot of purists don't like, you know, modifying it too much and cutting that section back. But I do like that look of a nice flat firewall. Um, I like that simple less is more kind of look. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, if uh, you're not too happy about it, then, you know, that's fine. That's your opinion. But, you know, this is this is what I'm going to do. So coming around to the back side of the firewall here so where this heater box mounts to you can just see that it's double skinned here so this bit here is going to have some spot welds so i have to cut out the or drill out the spot welds and then once this piece is cut out then i'm probably going to have to cut this back a bit and uh, weld something in there nice and flat so it doesn't protrude so then this piece can then sit flat so yeah, coming around to the front here, what I think I'll do also is just try and cut this out as square as possible. So, you know, rather than going around and cutting it out like that, it's going to be awkward. So I'll try and, yeah, keep it like a nice square sort of a, a cut. So, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier to then, you know, cut out the new piece and, and weld in rather than have all these curves and stuff. So I've just drilled out three spot welds here. So I can only see three on this section. There's some more up around here, but if I cut out around there, I should miss a lot of them spot welds. So yeah, I have marked this out roughly. So I'll basically go around and um, cut it out. So that piece is all cut out. So you can see that there's this inner section here that's protruding. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut this piece out and weld a new piece that's flush so it doesn't protrude. And then this outer section can uh, basically butt up along here. Okay, so that piece there is cut out. So I just used the angle grinder to cut that out. And I just got a hammer and a punch and kind of knocked it back a bit. So. I just made up this bit of a template, so just out of cardboard, so I'll trace around that on some steel, cut that out, and then I can weld that piece in. Okay, so that piece is welded in and I've just grinded it back. So I can now make up this piece to go in here and butt weld it in. I do have a heap of 1.2 mil sheet metal, but I think this firewall is 1.6 mil. So I probably would rather use the thicker steel on the firewall because put making this flat, it's probably gonna I've lost a little bit of strength because it doesn't have the ridges in there to to keep it rigid. Okay, so I've just wire wheeled all this firewall back to bare metal and I've just filled in majority of the holes. So just with the smaller holes, I've just welded it in with just the welding wire. And then the larger holes, I just made up like a little round patch and just welded the little patches in. So yeah, they're all pretty much all filled in now. So this one here, 
I am going to leave that one. I've done a little bit more research and that one is for your speedo cable from your transmission. So yeah, definitely need to keep that one. And I also done a little bit more research. I've asked a few other guys that have filled in this section before and they're telling me that they used 1.2 millimeter steel for that. So yeah, I'm gonna basically use the steel that I have here, which is 1.2 instead of going and getting the 1.6. So yeah, they said it was fine. So yeah, trust them. So I reckon, yeah, should be, should be no drums at all. So this patch is all made up. I just used this old piece here to trace around it and then cut it out with the angle grinder and then it's a bit of a trial and error to get it to fit in, but basically just use the uh, flapper disc here to take off a little bit of excess material to, to get it to fit in there nicely. So I've just got these panel clips, so I'll position this all in with the panel clips and then I can start tacking it in. Okay, so that piece is sitting in there, just got the panel clips holding it into place, so she's pretty much ready to tack in. Just put three spot welds here, just to, to spot weld onto that double skin section, and then once it's sort of welded around here, then I can tap this bit in to follow, follow that curve. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll start tacking it in, have to be very careful not to overheat it and warp it. So yeah, that's going to be probably the biggest challenge is to stop this from warping. So that piece is all welded in. Took a while to weld that piece in. Just didn't want to overheat it and cause any warpage, so I had to be a little bit patient with it. So what I'd done was weld like an inch at a time and then use the air blower and then blow on that section and cool it down and then, you know, go opposite sides and just do little sections inch long. Worked my way all the way around it. So yeah, that turned out pretty good. Doesn't seem to to be any warpage or anything, so that's good. There is like a bit of tin, tin canning, um, but I'm hoping that that will go away once I weld in the plenum section. So yeah, I think it's due to this, you know, top bit being able to move. So once I weld that in, it should, yeah, hopefully strengthen, strengthen all that up. Otherwise I might have to just weld a brace in behind there or something to stop that, stop that tin canning. Okay, so that is all grinded back. So pretty happy with how that's turned out. She seems pretty smooth. There may be some areas I'll have to use a bit of body filler and just fill in the lows and then sand back. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. So the next step will be wire wheeling all the inside, like the firewall and this dash panel here. Yeah, wire wheel all that back and then I can coat it with the KBS. And then once all that's coated, then I can put in this plenum section and weld that in. And then once it's welded in, I can then epoxy the firewall. So yeah, the reason being, I'll have to put the plenum in first because of these spot welds here. So once the plenum's welded in, spot weld them in and I can grind them back and then coat the, coat the firewall. Okay, so all this section has been cleaned. So I've just wire wheeled it. Roughly, I didn't take it, you know, all back to bare metal. I didn't think it was necessary to do that. So I've just also used the AquaClean and used the Scotch Bright and just scrubbed it all with the AquaClean. And yeah, it's come up pretty good. So I've also just taken all this old silicon out of here. So I'll reapply some fresh silicon in there and then I'll start brushing on the KBS. I'm only going to KBS it to this mark here, so where the silicon is. And then at a later date, I'll, re I'll do all the floor section with the KBS. But just for now, I'll just do all this section, the firewall, the dash support, and on the inside of these A pillars.
Okay, so that's all the KBS applied. Just on the firewall there. So you can just see that I've just left the zinc primer up here all along there. So that's where the cow welds to. So I, I'll just leave that so that when you weld it, it'll go through the zinc primer. And the same for all along there as well. And this section here. So everywhere else is KBS. So I'll let that dry overnight and I'll have a look in the morning and see if it needs another coat. Okay, so early start this morning. So I've just had a look at the coating and pretty happy with just the one coat. So I don't think it will need a second coat. So I've just put this plenum in here. I marked some holes. So I'll start drilling out all the holes for all the spot welds. I don't think it's necessary to put as many spot welds as what was in it. I think I'll go like, say, probably like a two inch spacing in between each spot weld. Okay, so all the holes are drilled for the spot welds and I've got that sitting in. I've just got a ton of clamps there. So since clamping that in, there's no sort of tin can in there. So hopefully it'll stay like that when I weld that in. Okay, so the plenum is all welded in and all the spot welds are grinded back. So the next step will be putting some body filler on the firewall and then sanding all that back. So I've just been out to Hearts Paints out at G-Bung in Brisbane here. So yeah, they were really friendly. Um, recommended, you know, this um, fluorite coatings 2K epoxy primer. So they reckon a lot of the restoration guys use this um, epoxy primer so we'll give that a go so just got some body filler as well so yeah we'll start mixing some of that up and apply it to the firewall Okay, so she's all sanded back and I've just taped it up, ready to spray the epoxy. So just with the sanding, I just used 80 grit to take the top off the body filler and then I went over it with 240 grit. So yeah, I'll uh, mix up the epoxy primer and then we can lay it on. Okay, so that is the epoxy primer. She's on there, so didn't get any runs, so that's always a good thing. Definitely feel like I'm getting a lot better using the spray gun, getting a lot more comfortable using it. So yeah, pretty happy with how all that's turned out. It looks yeah, nice and smooth. There's probably a little, few little, um, if you could see that, a few little sort of holes there, but I'll be able to just apply some body filler over the top and just smooth that out. But yeah, for now, that's the firewall all done. Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button below, and maybe even leave a comment. So if you are new to the channel, I recommend check out the playlist for the HX1 tonner build. So it's all in order, so the very first episode all the way up to the latest, so have a bit of a binge on that, and get up to date with the build so far. So yeah, we'll leave it with that, and we'll see you next time on Shanky Garage. Cheers. <laughs>